What is going down, AMD users? For most people that are here, they're probably scratching their head like, how the hell do I install this? Why is it going south? Why is Windows and the OS that you can download separately conflicting? Questions that probably are just, well, they should have been hammered out from the actual developers from the get-go. But you're here, and I'm here to help. My name is Mac, here at the MacGyver 7 channel, and today I'm going to be showing you an updated version of how to install your AMD Adrenaline software. So let's go ahead and slide into it. We're going to jump into the digital world. And Shazam, normally my normal computer, right? But bam, we're going to go to my side computer. Yes, my year one. And I have conveniently right here located and downloaded from the AMD site, which you can get in the link down below for as far. And we'll show you exactly what it looks like. I'm using this as the, I don't have the 6900 XT. I wish I did. Lisa Sue, she, she might one day watch my video and send me one. Who knows? But we moving past that charming moment of life. That will be very glorious is that uh, you actually have the software that you can download directly here. And once you download it, you're going to go to your download folder, just like the one I showed. I mean, if, if you somehow by miracle downloaded it off of the store by itself, I mean, kudos to you. I mean, it is ridiculously just don't don't go to Windows. Just do it my way. It's so much easier. Back to the easy way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to select personally myself. I run it as administrator. That way, at that point in time, bam, you see, it says 2020, technically it's 2021, and they've adopted a UI that's spawned over it, which is pretty cool, actually. I've seen some really great developments, even down to the icon down below for most people that didn't know that it will actually show you a little icon, almost like Nvidia does change was when a new driver will pop up to it. So you actually have more business to go like, hey, snooping around in my UI of uh, the Radeon software, it's pretty sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and click install. It's gonna run. I'll show you the really cool screen of code that it gives you us right there. Not really that important, but it looks cool. You know, I mean, for most people that are installing for the first time. Now, this is a great resource in order to install. If you are having issues from driver to driver and you have not been able to fix it with a clean install, which I'm going to show everyone how to do a clean install or a sloppy install, in my opinion. <laughs> and then an ultra clean install, which I'll have a video tethered at the very back of this video for just a DDU, which is the ultimate clean. It wipes everything out, not in a bad way, just like cleans and scrubs the floors. And then you just build an update on top of it. And it solved many issues for a lot of people that have had cars that have just been, you know, a problematic point with the PCI matching up with that car. Because what a lot of times Windows will match up one freaking like serial with this matchbox. And that's how they make a uh, how did you change your OS to this? Because they have recovery modes and all this other crap. It's a long monopolized bullcrap thing that always points towards Windows. Just like I kind of feel like. You shouldn't be downloading the software from Windows. They could be utilizing their payroll more conveniently. Don't have me run books for you. you I will be the boss that's like, no, you guys are doing this like bad. But uh, anyways, moving on. Um, we have some choices and you can see right now it's asking me, do I want to downgrade? Because I am at the current software, but I have to run some tests. So th this is actually a good thing for me. Uh, I'm going backwards right here, which is cool. So we are definitely for this motto, we are downgrading technically, not upgrading because they will say upgrading if you need to. But in this situation, you will be gifted with three different options. Do not let this be confusing to you. If you want the full experience, you're utilizing the streaming software, you're utilizing everything that you possibly can from the adrenaline software that you're used to. So you're a creator and you just want to utilize that and somehow OBS just doesn't do it for you which I think OBS does it for me really well. It's pretty attractive. And I've met the OBS creator and he's freaking amazing. Like, super awesome dude. But like that software is pretty sexy. But we don't pass that besides my romanticizing of OBS and it's lovely like um, coding for a creator that you can see that there are other options past that. So if you want to utilize the full thing, if you want to do minimal install, well, what's a minimal install? Minimal install is without the bloatware. So it means there's not going to have like all the weird ass ads and a few less um, things within the UI, but you're still getting somewhat performance where you can tune the GPU. And then you have just the driver without the UI. So somehow you have a third source overclocking program you don't want any of the ui of the adrenaline because you think that it's just gonna hold me back my super saiyan mode's gonna go even farther with it that's cool 
you got that vegeta just click that you know driver only and you will be the prince of all saiyans with that driver good job I'm not saying that begrudgingly, I'm just saying that, like, you know, if that's what your route is, if you, if you are well-tuned and ready to go, and, you know, like, Vegeta, the super is amazing, by the way. I'm just putting that out there. I feel like he's, he's come a long way. But to make this video minimalized and not a DPZ video, we are looking at what the install is. So we're going to go ahead and install this. Now, you can do what is in the very portion of that is the optional portion. And let me go ahead and rewind and show what I'm saying. And like that, we're back. Content creation, fast travel through time it's amazing you gotta love it when you're editing but moving on where i'm getting at is yes we want to make sure that there is factory resets it requires a reset itself now on top of that sometimes it will give you the option to keep the settings on top of there so if we're going down over here select off select on but make sure that you're doing a factory reset it's going to wipe everything which is kind of like your clean install in that situation for is what's going down so that's what you're aiming for if you want a um you know optional portion without that reset i don't suggest that because eventually you'll have to reset it's just easier this reset trust me there'll be less issues but we've cleared that so back to the future now you all notice sometimes it gets to this really weird like window sometimes it's okay and you know it'll tell you like the counter on there and you'll have to count down sometimes you'll have to wait i think that is the newer portion of what is happening with the um 21 series that they've introduced i noticed it right around probably i want to say may they they introduced something that that's like messed with the oversizing and it'll be completely done and you know you can kind of like do this thing where you're just like hey what's going on don't worry I mean, this is what really matters is that yes, your system will reset. And this is why you want to add that reset on there. Most people think like, oh no, he just stressed that for no damn reason. He was talking way too damn much. And yeah, I probably do, but that's why I'm a creator. Cause I talk a lot and it's amazing. Cause I can funnel that into education. Well, points like this where, yeah. See how easy that was by asking that extra step. Cool. I'll be back in a minute and seven seconds. As we boot back into Windows, and Windows may be causing a lot of issues for a lot of people, and again, if you had issues with installing it, one of the bigger issues that they've had with the brand new 21 series is because of Windows somehow installing their version of it when you should just be installing it from AMD. Don't don't use anyone else except for AMD. Just to, I'll have the site. It, it stresses me out because I can't believe Windows did this to everyone. I, mean, I guess looking on the optimist side, I mean, I I wouldn't be, you know, be without a, you know, content creation without them. Like, they make my job look good. It's like, oh, what happened with Windows? Well, you see, these tests actually resultly point at Windows. So don't worry, this stuff's going to boot up and it's going to be in a really archaic looking like format, especially if you utilize a DDU, you'll install this stuff. And yes, I use um, NordVPN. As you can see, this isn't me just like needlessly spamming it. This is just me loading up. And I haven't turned that off for first download ups in the background. So it's kind of bloatware right now, but it's fine. It's whatever. But for purposes, and you know, production, you can see how easy it is to navigate. And this is just like a 67K with an R7 inside of here. Yeah, that Radeon 7. It purrs. It's great. It's a very, very great card. I love it. Um, but so you can see, like, there, there's some great software, I mean, alignments that we can take from this and really size up the portion of... You know, clean installs work, and if you're running like a lot of issues, um, DDU. I mean, I can't help but say that enough. DDU, you will save yourself a lot of times. As we come to the tail end of this video, you can see there will be some flickering. You will see it come in and out, but in the end of the day, you will end up to this one screen. And there's one more important thing, and another step that I'm going to show you once the UI is completely installed, in order to disable, in order to get these things working functionality. Um, but I think this is where I need to reset my breaker on my freaking little LCD screens. Another joy and fun situation that happens. Give me one second as I correct this. But sadly, since I have to show you what's going on over here, because what ends up happening when you install AMD software, it, well, sometimes, for content creators at least, you will run into this issue if you're trying to record yourself because your display HTCP will have to be toggled off, then back on, and then off again. 
because for some weird reason it just detects it as like you shouldn't be doing that but what i'm trying to show you is this settings right here and i can't maximize that anymore but one of the very top ones says allow amd to collect anonymous utilized software for information do not select that that is where a lot of background portion is going to happen yes we should probably be helping amd Sorry, Lisa Sue, I know I said send me a GPU, but here I'm saying don't let, you know, anonymous. But if you're running into issues from what I've seen, and a lot of people will be like randomly, where did this gremlin bug come from? If you wanna iron it out and have consistent portions of what the heck is going on with my CPU, you have to get rid of options like this so it does not throw a gear in like peril when a wrench comes flying its way randomly as it collects information because it's a nosy wrench. But moving on past that portion of not saying that AMD is nosy, but just saying, you know, for that analogy, that wrench is. But also launch the software. Now you can, this is going to say, hey, with the portion of finish, and you can do one more reset, which I definitely recommend in order to finish this process, and you're done. You're, you're absolutely done. Enjoy your new software. It's going to go over here into this mode. And one of the last things that I will say that you will definitely want to do is make sure you go over here it's a little dial and it's cog that just has little gears for settings. You're going to go over from recommended for where it says preferred software and you can do recommended plus optional every single time you do an install for the most part. If it does not keep the other settings, you will have to put that. Otherwise, it will just pick the standards to standards, which are quite. I mean, they happen between like two quarters, if not three quarters of a year. So, I mean, like it's every so often with amd the optionals are like a lot so if you want to be a part of that action click that one of the other ones that you want to make sure is go down to where it says issue detection disable that i've noticed that a lot of issues do come up with that when it goes into issue detection not to say that it's not a bad thing if you are having issues launch that turn it on then launch the tools in order to do it but then turn it off afterwards in order to maximize your software and your ui for the adrenaline software so hopefully this has given you the 411 on how to install the brand new 20 dot 2021 which is basically the extension and eventually we will get a brand new ui for 2021 which is probably 2022 knowing amd but moving on past that for more future updates for more future tech related videos subscribe it's absolutely free helps me out as a creator and if you do today who knows Maybe I'll actually get that GPU that I keep mentioning inside of the videos. Anything can happen, right? Just have to subscribe to find out. But I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy. And I will see you guys and gals, hopefully, in like an extra two years to update what goes down with AMD because they like to change their installs. NVIDIA has been solid. I, I've had that video up for a while. I don't have to touch that for a while. Thank you, NVIDIA. I appreciate you not, you know, updating your process for a while. Now that I say that, watch next video. Hi, welcome to... Anyways, later everyone.